Hi you! Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll take you through how to identify your ideal client. That is, when you see someone, you are able to decide if they are for you or not. If you should catch them or let them go. <laughs> you want to know if you should catch them or let them go, alright? So, that is the whole idea of today's tutorial. I'll walk you through what to do, how to do it, and of course, I'll share with you tips that can help you make this a success. Are you ready? <laughs> if yes, then let's go. Hey, welcome back to our community. This is a community for thought leaders who are impact driven and transformation focused who are committed to helping people to be better, do better, and have better in their lives. So if you are here, you're an emerging thought leader, you want to learn about mentoring, tech, uh, uh, business, marketing, sales funnel, everything like that that can help you become a success, this is your home. So sit down, relax, Subscribe, yeah, I'm here for you. My name is Tammy Ajivewa. Those who know me and love me call me the Electric Tammy. I am the coach's coach. If you're looking for inspiration, strategies, tips, and hacks to build a successful coaching business, I am your girl. So, to today's video, talking about how to identify your ideal clients. Now, the first thing you want to do that I strongly recommend for you as a new or emerging thought leader is for you to design and administer a market research form or a market research survey, actually. Okay? If you're a new coach at the beginning or you're not just sure of who your clients are, you can't get it wrong with market research survey. And I have a tutorial on how to carry out a market research. The link will be in the description box below this video, okay? So, first thing is to do what? Do a market research, get people's opinion, get their thoughts, be sure that this thing you want to do works. Who are they? How did they, you know, describe their pains? All of those things very important. The second thing is for you to speak. Yes, because there is, there is power in speaking. Having this back and forth, you gain more clarity that way. If they say something you don't understand, you can ask them that what do you mean, you know, as a matter of fact, or why did you say this, you know? So speak to your prospects to know their pains and their pleasures, okay? Ask them really good questions. And that tutorial I, I, I mentioned earlier, is really important. In this, I tell you the kind of questions to ask and all of that. So, number three here is ask yourself, okay? Who can you do the most with? Who can you serve the most? Who can you do the most with, all right? And then second question to ask yourself is, who can do the most with what you have, okay? If you pour yourself into a class of people, can they carry you? It's so that you don't end up, you know, uh, casting your pearls before swines, all right? No offense to anybody, it is just what it is, okay? It is what it is because you want to be able to serve at your highest capacity as a thought leader. Would you have, you know, small, smaller programs for people, you know, at the bottom? Of course, yes. You can have a YouTube channel, you know, like this to just, you know, cater for those who are looking for free information or just starting from scratch. However, when they want to have your time and your attention and your expertise, they've got to, you know, go up. Now, speaking of going up, if you're a new coach looking for how to launch or how to become a highly paid coach, your niche, my bootcamp, the highly paid coach bootcamp is your plug. This is an online class where I take you through, you know, over uh, three, four, five, six, eight days of teaching and training you on what you need to set up the system, the structure, starting with identifying your life's purpose all the way 
to your ideal client, your call message, and so on, validating your business idea, all of that, and the exact systems to move from free to being paid, you know, to move to and to earn your first $20,000 as a coach, all of that, I teach it in this boot camp. So you want to subscribe, the link will be below this video, okay? Yep. So that's one thing you want to do. Now, the tech tool you would need basically is a Google form for you to do the market research, okay? Google form is, 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 is a no-brainer. Like, it's just your easiest plug. And if you don't know how to use the Google form, uh, I think I have, do I have a tutorial? Okay, so I may link another tutorial to how to do it very easily in the description box below, all right? Then, um, in all of this, my top tip for you is, um, ask yourself this question. Do, does working with this client make me happy? Okay, does working with this particular client, this class of people, do they make me happy? Now, I had to ask myself this question about two, three, about three years ago when I was transitioning from coaching housewives to coaching thought leaders. So even though I was getting massive testimonials and feedback, you know, change lives and everything, but working with housewives or stay-at-home moms was not giving me the fulfillment I was looking for. Right, it wasn't just it wasn't just you know gelling in my in my spirit that they are the ones I was designed for until I had to do a shift to working with thought leaders who wanted to become coaches, you know, and all of that. I mean, those experts, right? And in this my current zone, I'm not sure I could have prayed for something better because where I am right now is so super, ah, uh, so I, I'm in a great place. Just I mean, it's just speaking at least for now to the next level calls, okay then does this client make you happy? So working with the client is different. That means the process you take the clients through. Does it make you happy? If not, then don't do it. Okay, ask yourself, does working with this client make me happy? So that is, that client now is under, is, is, is in question. The, the kind of person they are, are they techie, their age, their mindset, their capacity, their education, and so on and so forth. All of this, does it make you happy? If not, then that's not your ideal client. All right? Then finally, if you had only this kind of client in their tens and hundreds and even thousands, what would your life look like? Yes. That's how you, you need to know who your ideal clients are. Like, if this kind of person comes to me over and over and over in their tens and thousands, will I be able to cope? If not, then they are not your ideal clients, okay? Then you want to switch things up, you know, or a little and then adjust yourself, all right? So I hope this has really helped you. Go ahead and subscribe to this community if you are yet to do that. And if you found this video valuable, please like it and then let me know in the comments. Tell me what you enjoyed the most. Ask me your questions and do a screenshot of this. This, yes, let me see if you really got to this part, okay? And share to me on Instagram. Share to your story and tag me at Tammy Ajivewa, okay? And then I want you to uh, go ahead and share with someone who would need to learn about this, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I truly, deeply love you because you are here learning, growing, becoming the better version of yourself every day. Till I see you next time, I remain Tammy Ajibewa, aka The Electric Tammy.